Welcome back, potentially. I, okay. There's a lot of things I noticed in editing my first video. The biggest thing is that I say like too much. I, I literally didn't know this until watching myself on video, but I'm, I'm pretty mortified and I've actively been trying to not say like in my day-to-day -day conversations because mortifying um another thing is that i keep like getting ahead of myself oh my god i said like i keep getting ahead of myself with this video making stuff and realize i don't i don't know how to use premiere yet i need colin around to to help me because even when i look stuff up on the internet I, I'm lost. I feel like an idiot. I can't even figure out how to rotate a video in Premiere Pro. And I watched like three, oh my god. Not like. I watched around three YouTube videos on how to rotate a video in Premiere Pro. And I like, no more like. Like is banned from my mouth. Cannot come out. Um. Watched videos, still don't know what I'm doing. The videos show settings that my Premiere Pro does not have. So, you know, I just need calling around to do that. But I can do sit down videos and rant. It's within my skill set. Something potentially worth ranting about is this lip balm. It's literally from Thrifties. It was like $3 or something, but it's Peppermint Twist Natural Lip Conditioner. And it looks like, looks natural, looks organic, but it, it like tingles my, no, no more like. It tingles my lips. And I, I enjoy that. It makes them feel better. Oh my gosh, the spider. I have a spider story. So I am, I'm scared of spiders. I'm pretty terrified of them. But there's been this spider outside my window for like a month now, maybe even more. But this spider, it's on like the outside of the railing. There's like a glass barrier and the railing is on the other side of the glass barrier. And this spider is in between the glass and the barrier. So it's on the other side. <laughs> kind of hard to describe. Well, I'll just show you what it looks like, but I noticed this spider there a while ago and I was too scared to open the window because of it until I realized that it was on the other side of the glass. It was posted up there for for a long time. Um, like I thought maybe around like a week I just saw him chilling there and I got more used to it. I was just sort of expecting that he would be there and then I thought he left because I, whenever I, or I was, I was at home more. I was at home during the middle of the day and I noticed that he wasn't there, but I had never not seen him in his web. So yeah, I thought he left and I was pretty relieved that he left, but also like a little bit sad because I've gotten pretty used to just like checking to see if the spider's there. But so a few days later, I noticed he was back, like back in his spot where he was before. Now that I've been home more often, I have realized that when it's too hot, he leaves. He goes somewhere shady, I guess, and then he comes back in the evening. So he'll be there early in the morning and late at night. But so originally, I thought he was just there all the time because I was never at home in the middle of the day. Now I know better. He takes a walk. Um, but so I've named him now, and his name's George. And yeah, he's just chilling. I mean, he's kind of changing my opinion on spiders. Like maybe, maybe they're not so bad. If he found a way in here, I wouldn't want to kill him. I don't have the heart to do that. I would have to trap him and put him outside. But like, I don't want him in here is the thing. I'm very okay with him staying outside. 
he, he can live his life out there, I can live my life in here. And then I don't have to be scared for my life at all times. As long as I know he's out there. When he was gone, like during the days, I, at least the first time he was gone, I was kind of worried that he made it in here. Because when he first disappeared, my window was open. But yeah, turns out he didn't disappear. He just went on a walk. Anyway, George. Now every time I come home, I'm like, oh, let's see if George is home. And he usually is. He's, he's home right now. Or is he? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's home right now. I was telling Colin about George, and Colin said maybe spiders are territorial, and it's a good thing that, you know, there's a spider just outside my window, because maybe it'll scare off any other spiders from coming in here. So I, I googled it, and apparently most spiders are territorial, so honestly, maybe I'm kind of winning. Like, I have a spider protecting me from other spiders. There's just one thing I feel kind of, kind of iffy about, and it's before George showed up, there was a really big spider in here. It was crawling, like, on the ceiling, like, coming from the kitchen. I saw it out of the corner of my eye. I was making eggs and I was like oh, what was that because I just saw like black moving it was it was big and of course I'm the only one home or was the only one home otherwise I would have got Colin to deal with it or you know Jasmine and I would have stared at it for a prolonged period of time before deciding to to kill it but I grabbed our trusty Swiffer and I was, I literally held my breath. I was, I was like borderline sweating. I was sweating. I was sweating. And then I hit it. I tried to hit it really hard and fast and it fell to the ground, but it, it didn't die. It, it was, its legs were still like moving around. Oh my god, this is so, I feel so bad, but I just took the Swiffer and it just went like and like brutally murdered this thing, this thing, brutally murdered this spider. Ah, uh, but I'm, so I feel kind of guilty that maybe they were related. And maybe that's why this guy isn't leaving. I really hope they weren't related. I, I would actually feel very bad. I guess there's no way of really finding out, but they do look kind of similar. Although George has some like red spots on him. And that's like, that's pretty terrifying. He's pretty badass. I'm, we're kind of friends now, but I'm also, I'm kind of scared of him. But anyway, just thought I'd update you on George. I'm supposed to go see Fernanda right now. I'm actually supposed to like be at her place right now. Haven't left yet though. Oh, got a new laptop or I bought Colin's laptop and then he bought another laptop, but his is pretty new, but it's just like exponentially better than what I've been using. My old laptop is from the MacBook Pro from 2019 and it has less storage on it than my iPhone. If you can believe it. And trying to make videos on that thing was beyond infuriating because there's not there's just not enough storage. Like I can't put any videos on it. And then it constantly wants me to update, but there is, there's no space for the updates. And I even bought an external like drive, or I don't know if it's a SSD card or external hardware. Anyway, hard drive. But anyway, bought this thing, one terabyte of space, and it's great. But when you try to make a video off of it, it's so laggy. Like you need to. 
Anyway, I'm going off. I'm going off, but I'm excited about this new laptop. I think it's it's definitely already improved my life. And I've had it for two days. <laughs> but it doesn't feel like my laptop. I just feel like I'm using Colin's. I feel like Colin left his laptop at my place and now I'm just using it. Because my other one's still sitting there. Even the keys are nicer. And it, honestly, a worthwhile upgrade. Colin also bought me a new water bottle. Uh -huh. From the blue lemon. Um, I've been drinking a lot of water though. It's fun. It's always fun to have a new water bottle. Oh, I've been reading I Am a Cat. Showed you this in my last video. I haven't started it yet though. So look at this bookmark Chloe got me. So cute. It really fits my vibe. <laughs> anyway, started reading I'm a Cat and it's, it's all right. I mean, it's kind of less about a cat and more just, it kind of feels like a Japanese version of Pride and Prejudice, at least right now. I. I'm almost finished volume one, but it's also from the early 1900s. But I feel like it's a lot of it is kind of hard to appreciate without background knowledge of just Japanese society around that time. Like there's a lot of things that I keep having to look up. So it's, it's not easy to just sit down and read it, but I wasn't expecting it to be like this. It's not bad, but it's just so far not my favorite. The cover is really cute though. I also don't remember if I was finished my last book. I think I was still reading it when I made the other video. That was amazing. 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. That was a great book. <laughs> I went on a whole like deep dive about it and started researching the author and like looking up her interviews and stuff. Hopefully I can read another one of her books soon. I've been playing with this sticker the whole video. It was on my lip balm. Anyway, Fernanda and I are going to Kitoro later to see cats in the cat forest because I miss my cat. So much. It's getting difficult. It's getting sad. It's so sad. My mom and Jasmine just keep sending pictures and videos of them being all cute. And I'm like really starting to suffer here. So we're gonna go see some cats and we're gonna get some bubble tea. It'll be good. Be good for me. <laughs> Yeah, I'm supposed to be at Fernando's right now. I think while I learn how to use Premiere Pro. My videos will probably just be me sitting here updating you all on my life because otherwise I keep losing patience. I've been tr I tried to start editing footage from me and Colin just did a kayak trip down the Indian arm, but I some of the videos are <laughs> portrait. I can't figure out how to rotate them. I feel so stupid for not being able to figure it out, but I need Colin. Colin knows. Uh, Colin is so good with, with uh, electronics. I don't know how he just gets it, but he does. Our trip was really fun though. It was, it was hard. Um, it was raining a lot. A lot. Like on the second day, at least when we were heading back. I'm fighting for my life, bro.
and we were also our arms our upper bodies were so sore we were so tired but it was a really good time we saw a lot of sea lions and aside from cats sea lions are actually my favorite animal like they're so cute they're just like little water pups um and they would like they would pop up out of the water and just look at us like and they'd blow air through their nose. It was so cute. It was so cute. There's so many of them. We also saw a lot of jellyfish. I didn't get any pictures or videos of them because we would just be blasting by in the kayak. There wasn't enough time, but there was a lot of really big orange ones. And the last time, I've done this trip twice, but the last time I did the trip, I don't remember seeing any jellyfish. Saw a lot of starfish. Um, we didn't see any starfish this time. I don't know what happened. When we got back from the kayak trip, we took a three hour long nap. Well, we woke up at 5.45 and then kayaked for like four hours to get back by 11. Uh, Cause that's when our 24 hour rental was up. And we were exhausted. Like we were, we were working really hard to get back on time. Um, but yeah, we had a three hour nap when we got back to Collins and then ended up going to bed at 10.30 and then woke up the next day at nine, despite our three hour nap. Like that just did us over. We were so tired. Okay, anyway, this video is getting pretty long. Um, I need to go see Fernanda, but Thank you for watching, for listening. Hopefully this becomes a video too. The other one is almost done. It is so close to being done. There's just a few things I don't know how to do and I need Colin <laughs> to help me. But he's really busy right now with all of these things. But that will be up soon. And then I'll get to working on this one. And then hopefully this will upload as well. Um, anyway, yeah, thank you for watching and listening. I appreciate you.